Perfect. It's you two. I have a commission here that has your names written all over it. In fact, I'd even go so far as to say you're the only ones for the job. The only ones for the job? Huh. If our help is really that important, it's probably some Archon class commission, right? <laughs> the Adventurer's Guild doesn't employ that kind of classification system. In fact, this commission is also probably not nearly as intimidating as what you're expecting. All it asks us to do is to find the missing person. Huh? Then why did you say we were the only ones for the job? I came across this commission while reviewing our backlog not too long ago. It seems simple, but our records indicate that over a dozen successive efforts to complete it have all ended in failure, despite attempts by several accomplished and renowned adventurers. With the reputation of the Adventurers Guild and the performance of the Sumeru branch at stake, it's in our best interest to assign this commission to the adventurer with the highest completion rate over the past few years. Well, that's us for sure! <laughs> All I'm asking is for you to give it your best shot. If it proves to be beyond your capabilities as well, I'll talk to the Commissioner about cancelling the commission. Okay, so who are we looking for? And what is it about this commission that's made it so hard to complete? This commission was jointly issued by the residents of Vimara Village. They say one of their own villagers has gone missing. But the problem is, they don't know the missing person's name. They can only provide information about his general appearance. Uh... They're all from the same village, but they don't even know his name? Hmm... If so many adventurers have failed to complete this <laughs> like mission, maybe this missing villager doesn't exist at all. Could it be some sort of a prank or something? Unlikely. Several villagers came by to issue the commission, and judging by their appearance and tone of voice, they seemed incredibly sincere. It certainly didn't seem like a joke to them. Besides, putting up a commission requires a processing fee. There aren't many upsides to a prank that costs Mora to carry out. In any case, it would probably be best to go to Vimara Village and ask around first. The Adventurers Guild does have some information on hand, but I would say anything you can learn directly from the villagers would be far more reliable. The best way to avoid misdirection is to go to the source. All right then, let's go! Paimon's starting to get really curious about this whole thing. to learn a little bit hello there you looking to buy something i do business in this area oh no no we're adventurers catherine sent us to look into a commission here in vermara village ah so you're here about that then ah you're not the first that's for sure we've certainly made a lot of trouble for you all to be honest, we aren't holding out much hope. Many adventurers have made their way out here, confident they'd be able to help us, only to leave soon after with nothing to show for their efforts. We've pretty much had it up to here in questions, and the area around the village has practically been overturned in search of clues, but no one has been able to make any headway. So, this person we're looking for, what's his name? Where did he live? Does he have any relatives? Uh, 
I, I don't know. I really have no clue. I couldn't tell you. Okay. Guess you are really sick of answering questions. I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound short with you. I was actually just giving you my answer to your questions. I know it may seem like we don't have anything to offer by way of information, but I promise you, we all have a very strong impression of him. When you live in the same village as someone, you develop a lot of memories together, you know? We just don't know the specifics. Maybe we did at one point, but that information is long gone by now. At least that's what everyone in the village seems to think. We've all exchanged what we know. And that was the only logical conclusion. All right. Specifics aside, then, what kind of person was he? Young guy. In his early 20s, probably. Incredibly kind sort of person. Always willing to lend a helping hand. I'd chat with him when I didn't have any customers. I even saw him stick out his neck for others on more than one occasion. <laughs> Very interesting guy, that one. Now that you've started talking about him, you don't seem nearly as down in the dumps as you did before. Seems like he left a pretty good impression on you. But of course. Everyone in the village is pretty fond of him. We wouldn't have issued that commission otherwise. There aren't many young people like him nowadays. So genuine and pure. To think that he just up and disappeared one day. I just hope nothing bad happened. Could he have just... Moved away without telling anyone? No, he's not the type to leave without saying goodbye. And anyway, moving away without being seen by a single person in the village? There's no way he would have been able to manage that. Huh. All right, thanks for the information. We're gonna go ask around some more. If this commission is really as challenging as Catherine made it out to be, we're gonna need to carry out a very detailed investigation. that guests I hear. Hi, Grandpa Amadea. We're here to help you look for the guy that's gone missing. Ah, so that's what brings you to these parts. Coming all this way for our sake. That's so very kind of you. With your help, I trust that young man's case is in good hands. Could you tell us a bit about him? Of course. I'm happy to help any way I can. With my failing eyesight, I'm afraid I can't offer much about his appearance. But I do remember hearing the sound of his voice. Not recently, of course. That loss has left me feeling quite empty. I don't think his parents are still living in the village. But somehow he never seemed lonely. In fact, he was usually the one offering companionship to others. He would often take time to visit the elderly or play with the orphans in the village. And whenever someone had something on their mind, he was there to listen with open ears. He always knew just what to say. As the village chief, I owe him many thanks. Helping villagers navigate difficult moments in their lives should have been one of my responsibilities. But he was often the one rising to the occasion. Wow. He seems like such a nice and gentle person. No wonder his disappearance affected you all so much. But, um, you wouldn't happen to know any details about his name, address, or family situation, right? Oh, <sighs> I'm ashamed to admit it, but... Ah, uh, it's okay. There's no need to force yourself to try and remember. We'll figure something out. Well, 
Traveler, what do you think? Paimon thinks so, and nobody has been able to tell- Wait. Okay. You two are the adventurers who just arrived, right? Yep, sure. I'm so glad. My name is Atosa, by the way. Yeah, no need- Hmm. <laughs> What's the hurry? Huh. Is this the... Yep. We used to... I was actually... I was surrounded... Alone? Everyone has their own problems. Really? You know exactly... Aww. Wow, that sounds really nice. You're quite lucky. When it comes to our missing, no matter what, he, he was so ever since. No, no, none of those things. Wow. Did he ever tell you? Hmm. Oh, right. I didn't know. Hmm. Uh, look at me. The last time I. Huh. Come to think of it, time always passed by really slowly. Well, time always seems to pass slower when you're relaxed, right? Uh, what's wrong? Hey, look at those hilly trips. Uh, the abyss. Uh oh, we've been spotted. Let the show be. <laughs> With sword comes shadow. Incoming. Trouble. Hmm. They seem. Hmm. Well, we should head back and check out the situation in the. Wait a second. The person. It's. It's Dave. Ah, it's you two. Oh, a friend of yours. Well, I'll leave it. Yep, see you later. Why do you always have to pop up out of nowhere like that? It's hardly per- Yes! Naturally. Hold on. Hmm. The abyss or- So you think- As things- Still- The best way to protect them is by figuring out- And you shall have- Don't worry. <laughs> Ah, so that was the commission that brought you here to Vimara Village. Someone who seems to only exist in people's memories. That is indeed quite intriguing. I would agree that it's unlikely you have a simple missing persons case on your hands. However, any possible connection to the Abyss Order is still unclear. It appears all we have by way of clues is increased hilly churl activity. And that is certainly not much to go off of. Right! The 
mysterious voice he heard in his sister's memory. The one who called himself a sinner. Who is he? Hmm. Traveler, let me ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? Hmm. I s there's still the sinner you wish to know about. His situation is different. He and his fellow sinners have long betrayed me, and long betrayed their nation. His name is Vedderfolnir. I'm loath to it. You... Brother? There were five of the wise, Roptatir, the visionary, no matter how erode. Wait, some of those names sound really familiar. Ryan and the one we just learned about, Dean. They were once people of great esteem, six of us, yet, so they became sinners. But, and when the cataclysm occurred, indeed, it, of course. So, I've continued to, by retrieving the eye of the first field. Oh, Paimon! Indeed. The eye was integral to... There are many... Then, which... Our most pressing... Based on the... In the ley lines? Traveler, my recent investigation... Wait! It's certainly possible... Well, if we're teaming up with Dane again, we're gonna need all the energy we can get. Let's try... What's the hurry? Uh, Dane? Hello, Dane? Uh, Did something happen? The missing- Oh! Young guy- There appeared memory- I- No. It wasn't a dream. And I'm certain I've never met this person before. I remember... Handing him the eye of the first- What? Okay, so this missing person definitely has something to do- Indeed. And it- Wait then. But why would he do so- Whatever the ab- What well, sort of truth? That their goal is- I am the only person who knows its look. Your concerns, however, can come with me. Oh, so you're- Hmm. Of course. <laughs> What's the hurry? So you hit it way out here? Not an easy place to discover. Well, let's go check to see if it's safe. Traveler, wait. We've no time to lose. Let's head inside. Hey, wait up!
The mechanisms here have changed over time. You can access the upper floor through the side door. Perhaps you should try reactivating the mechanism over there. What's the hurry? the hurry. Make sure all the runes are pointing in the direction indicated by the light. That should unlock the mechanism. Ah, the door's open. Let's go. Our destination is just up ahead. any further. Be on your guard. I sense the presence of the Abyss. It's the Abyss Order! They're here!
Just as I suspected. Now that they're in the... Dane? What's... Can you feel... Wow, you must be... You too. Do as I say. The Abyss Order. Just think of it as a way to... Div I knew going along with your trap would be the only way to meet with you face to face. You risked your safety and that of the Eye? That's quite the gamble, Dainsliff. But I... So you came here all on your own? When the Twilight Sword is prepared for battle, any army I could send would only be marching to their doom. Better... I know you must have a l but if it's a conversation you want... The Abyss Order's on the move! The Ley Lines are all out of whack! We better... Hey, look at those hilly trails! Weren't they acting super agitated just a little while ago? In the new world, at last, such was the price they paid. Uh, did you hear that? It sounded... Oh, this is... Looks like the same thing is happening over here. You see, we've reclaimed release your Over there. It looks like they're sleep. In the end, sleep well when you awake. It almost sounds like a poem or well now that they let's put the situation to the side for now. Dane said this might be our
The Abyss Order? Uh, thank you for your co Well, that's good. Oh, also, you didn't happen to come across- Hmm? Huh? Well, you know, that's kind of the whole reason- Ah, I do. At least right now, I- But how is that- Something's definitely not right. We just talked to Grandpa- uh, What do you think, Traveler? Could everyone's memories of the missing village be right? What's the hurry? <gasps> What's the hurry? Someone's gone mid- uh, just as expected. Um, that guy you said a bunch of- He's around 20 Oh, hi. Really? There aren't many- Then there's only one person who fits the bill. No doubt about it. Yeah, I just- Strange. Bayram seems to remember him. And apparently he- Do you think maybe- If we really did, time travel is ex just like what happened if this person. Right. Paimon totally forgot about the ley line disturbances. We're in just like how you had. That would also explain why we seem to be at a time. Right. If he's so. But didn't Baron just say. Who knows how long this ley line. Good idea. We pretty much figured out that the missing villager has the ability to... Right! Like, does it make... All the memory... No. If time... No wonder! All this time in the sky hasn't changed a bit! That's the tell... The implanted memory... If the memory is... Like, there could be... Oh, that's why he... We thought she... No. Dainsliff had... No. The color of... Oh, right! Oh, come to think of it. Every time... Time always passed by really slowly. Even when it... Yep, that has to be it! This is definitely a toast... Yeah, that... So, you see, Granny Jahiet was a mercenary when she was younger. Oh, there I go again. Always talking about my own things. Um, it's okay if you don't. Oh, I... Uh, I, I think you're... You'll meet many amazing people and live a very happy life. You won't miss someone like me. Huh? Are those your friends over there? Oh, right. This version... Friends? I guess you could say that. It must have taken them a... So... Another time, huh? Um... It's nice to see you, Traveler. I believe this is the first time we've met. The founder of the abyss. The founder of the abyss. No. Born into abject sorrow. Born into abject. You're. Oh. You know me? 
Ah, I see. It was the memory. But I suppose I'll just... I suppose you could call it the realm of... Uh, it's nothing. I st Extreme sorrow and pain. Father told me, but... In truth... The person you see before you... As for your question... In its primitive, once fully completed... The moment it gains the power to weave ley lines... It loses the... But it also becomes a tool that can change the... Yes. I have the ability to control the... After all... Ah, uh, I just wanted them to feel as if... <sighs> Why would I do some... <sighs> but I just... I had to know what it would be like if I had Chief Amadea, Baram, Granny Jahiyat, Atosa. What would it be like? I was curious, so I... Even if... Even if that meant piecing together the version of myself that could have been... I know it sounds... After all... Any chance at living was stripped away from me when I was... Even the form you see before you was... Nothing but an... Inv I know... But there's nothing I... If I could exist in the real world... I would return without a second thought... And surprise the... I know. Captain Dainsliff. Exactly. The loom of fate has already been completed. No need to worry about Captain Dainsliff. He's absolutely... F Captain Dainsliff has had the eye inside his body this... His plan was to lure the Abyss Order to a fall. He would then hand the eye to you. That way, Captain Dainsliff could have... That's right. Because in his... before you two entered that false location. Traveler, hmm? Uh, we've no time to lose. Let's head inside. That was when I implanted the memory of him, given the tense situation at that time. I'm sorry, Traveler, but I... I promise I'm not trying to conceal it. Tavat's ley line system is deeply entrenched in the planet, creating in the face of everything they could be pl in any case. I you remember my father, don't you? After he used the power of the abyss to restore consciousness to my hilly churl form, to comfort me, my father told me a story. Th that story managed it. My goal was simple, to implant a specific memory. In that memory, I would tell them a story. I can't change the world. All that's left, but now...
Looks like I was too late to see Kari Bear one last time. Consciousness is gone, and this space will soon disappear along with it. Neither of us belongs here. That's why we're not tangible. <sighs> Were that not the case, I'd love to hug you too. Well... The chance to just stop and talk like that battle or the one against D I didn't expect that after ever were it not for that perhaps the loom of fate before the heavenly principles yes for 500 not long ago such a flagrant disregard for the rules and still Celestia took however you could say just look at Kari Bear he was so pure and single-minded the space we now find ourselves is a, even as a hilly churl, seeing the terrible sight within them. He brought comfort to the people. So ask yourself this. Of course, that's only. <sighs> Ether? You're the only one in this. There's so much I wanted to ask you. There's just one thing I have to ask. Why? Why can't we continue? Hmm. At the end of my journey, I arrived. Do you remember? You told me you wanted to, to have a place like that. Well. You mean? I miss you too, Ether. But as this war continues to rage, and as I... I don't even know how to face... <sighs> This space has lost its tether. I doubt it'll be able to exist much longer. In fact, aside from our inability to physically interact with each other, there's something else you should know about this space. Everything in this space will be wiped from existence, including all memory of me tell. so sleepy. Oh, Paimon woke up a little earlier than you, so Paimon will fill you in. The villagers said, oh, and Dane came by just... He didn't say anything, though. Just made sure that you were alright and left. Kinda seemed like he had a lot... Hmm. Let's think for a second. He was the missing villager that we've been trying to find, right? And after that... Wait. Well, what happened after that? Ah, there you are. 
<laughs> Bayram, you sure seem happy. Did something good happen? Something good? Huh. It's just that, well, so there we were, searching what? According to him, one day around dusk, he was passing by this one tree. There he was, sleeping under that tree all by himself. His parents, and after that, well, we all started to feel like that really is what happened. Oh, and we also remembered his name, Curry Bear. Now, that's not a name you hear every day. Would have been helpful if we remembered it sooner. Well, I hope he's happy wherever he is. Seems like everyone thinks Curry Bear left the village. That's probably for the best. At least they have... Hmm. Paimon, what? Paimon didn't see her in the village. It's you two. I was part of... Honestly, I just... Can't believe I forgot something so important. It's funny. I guess it doesn't... I'm just happy I got... <sighs> okay, I'll... I was dumb. Otherwise, why would he just leave? Like... <laughs> You don't... It's just like Kari Bear said. And, you know, anyway... Well, that...